Welcome to this Smartsheet tutorial. Today, we're gonna to be looking at how you can hide a row or multiple rows in a sheet. Now, first and foremost, it's important to note that Smartsheet works a little bit differently to other softwares and applications. So for instance, if you're used to working in Excel, then what you would normally do is you would select the row you want to hide and you would right click and then you would click hide. And this is the way that many other applications and software works as well. But as I say, Smartsheet does not work in this way. But thankfully, you can still hide rows in Smartsheet. Now what I've done is I've just entered some, some test data just to show you how the process works. What you need to do to hide a row is you need to create filters. Now there's two different filters that you can set up, but I'm, and I'm gonna walk you through both of them right now. So the first one would be a search on a specific text string. So here I'm gonna select primary column because that's where the data is. Then I would select does not contain and I'm gonna put hide, because that's what I want to conceal. That's the row I want to hide. When I hit apply, you will see that it has hidden the row and that is the expected result. So as you'll notice on the left-hand side, number two, which is the row that the data is in, has been hidden. It's still there, it hasn't been deleted. So in order to show the, the data again, you have to turn the filter off. So I've just clicked the filter button and clicked filter off. And to reapply, you would click hide. You can also delete the filter if you no longer require it. So here we are back to the, the original data set we have. So that's, that was option one, set up a text string filter. The second option requires a checkbox column. So what I've done here is I've created a new column. I've, click, I've right clicked on the header column and I've changed the column properties. So originally a, a column is set up with text and number, but I've changed that to checkbox. And then I've also restricted to checkbox use only. When you hit okay, that would provide these checkboxes. Now just consider that for the checkboxes to show, there needs to be data within the row. So when I've entered new data, you will see the checkboxes now in place. So first and foremost, create the checkbox column. I'm actually just gonna save. Always good practice in Smartsheet. Then I'm going to check what I want to hide. Then when you go back into the filtering, you want to go to the top, click filter. We're gonna name this hide. We now need to select column seven. Obviously this would be named something differently depending on the sheet you're working on, but that's where the checkbox is for, for, for me and my sheet. Then you want to click is unchecked because we only want to show the data that isn't checked. And then you'd hit apply. Now, of course, if you wanted to hide multiple rows, you would just check more of the checkboxes. And that's all you need to do. So you've got two different ways and they both center around the filtering functionality. As I say, you can delete them, you can set up multiple filters to get the data to show that what you need. Now, I hope that this tutorial was useful here today. If you have any questions regarding the process, then please do drop a comment down below and be sure to hit the like button and to subscribe so that you are alerted of when I release new videos and Smartsheet training videos just like this. Now, I hope you have a wonderful day.